Shalom, peace and blessings, beloved. A word. Today we're talking about abundance, true abundance. Understanding the difference between what the world teaches us is abundance and having that good life. And what the spirit teaches us is abundance and having true life. There are many amongst us that they have all their material needs met and then some. But they're depressed, they're unhappy, they feel empty and hollow inside, and they don't understand why. The order is out of order. If you understand, and I want you to bear with me, <clears throat> the world teaches us something called physical abundance physical abundance. It's a quantitative abundance. What does that mean? Quantitative abundance. Okay. <clears throat> this physical abundance comes through hoarding and accumulation. It's measured by the quantity of something rather than its quality. That's the physical world interpretation, definition, lesson of your life's abundance. Many people have it, and they're still caught in a web of depression, mental illness, trying everything they know, hoarding and accumulating things. And yet, these same sad people in many cases will take their lives because something's missing. But the children of the Most High, we don't go by the dictates of the physical world ideology, that quantitative abundance, an abundance based on the quantity of something and not the quality. We are under the spiritual abundance, spiritual abundance, which is qualitative Qualitative meaning is measured by the quality of something rather than the quantity. The spiritual abundance is qualitative. It's measured by the quality of something rather than the quantity. Okay? One of the other things. The physical abundance that the world teaches us that many brothers and sisters are going into depressions and having problems. Everything I have, everything I do says I should feel successful and yet I don't because it's the physical law. But we're not under the physical law and those of us who have been taught wrong, we're going to reteach ourselves today. We're not going under the quantitative physical law of what true abundance is, which is the quantity of something, it's measured by the quantity of something rather than the quality of something. And that physical abundance, it comes through hoarding and accumulating things. We're under the spiritual abundance, qualitative, qualitative abundance. It's measured by the quality of something rather than its quantity. And it comes through utilization and giving away. Now look at the difference. Physical abundance says you hoard and you accumulate. Spiritual abundance says you utilize it. You make it work for you. And then you give it away. Why? Because. Here's the difference. Why would spiritual abundance say you utilize it and then you give it away? Let's look at Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Give and it shall be given unto you. The words backing the spiritual law. Qualitative. Quality. Okay. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. With the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured unto you again. So, 
Many of the brothers and sisters who are going through these issues and don't understand, I've accumulated a lot of things, and it is a wonderful thing to be blessed with our needs. But if you don't have spiritual abundance and understand how it operates, how does physical abundance operate, which can lead to depression and suicide and just all types of problems, physical abundance, hmm. You hoard and you accumulate. And it's measured by the quantity of something instead of the quality. But the spiritual abundance, mm, and what is the law of spiritual abundance? It's utilization, meaning you use it for the positive benefits. And giving it away. Mm, mm. Okay. How do we know? We're going to say it again. Give and it shall be given unto you. Is that spiritual abundance? Good measure. Pressed down and shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Now, how does one gain Spiritual abundance. How does one do that? Well, one of the things is, in the spirit, survival is not an issue. In the spirit, in the physical realm, survival is an issue. I got to have all that I need so I can live and take care of myself and my family. In the spirit, survival is not an issue. But growth is. Growth is. Remember, we need to move from drinking milk to being meat eaters. Growth is. Okay? Jesus said, Yeshua said, I am come to you that you might have a more abundant life. This is an issue of empowerment. See, it's not a survival issue. It's a having an abundant life and becoming empowered. How do you become empowered? How do you become empowered? Only Yah's true word has power. Only Yah's true word has power. Okay? Remember, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Those who love it will eat of its fruits. It's empowering you. Remember, this is spiritual food. As a person thinketh, so shall they be. That's coming from the spirit. That's coming from the spirit. Your thoughts guide your actions and your expectations, beloved. Here's another thing. Separating the physical abundance from the spiritual abundance, okay? Because many, in this system that we live in, we've been taught physically to survive. In the spirit, we're taught to grow and to become empowered, to utilize what we have, what the Lord has blessed us with, and to give it away. Why? Because, remember, give and it shall be given unto you. That's how you gain abundance. And understand, spiritual abundance isn't measured in objects. Yah knows all our needs and he supplies them. Okay? This abundance is greater than that. Let's go into that abundance. That abundance that gets rid of depression, that cleanses our minds. You have some people that are suffering from mental illness through no fault of their own, because of what the world has put on them. Remember the man in the tomb when Yahshua saw him? He said he talked with him. And by the time the disciples saw him, he's sitting there in his right mind. He's clothed and in his right mind. Why? Because he got that spiritual abundance, that word. Okay? When we look in the book of Hebrews, it tells us, the word of Yah is quick and powerful. He's dealing in power. That's spiritual abundance. 
sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. I'm going to stop right there. Piercing to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. What does that mean? See, the soul is the mind. That's what the world put in us, that physical abundance. And we're thinking, well, I got all this stuff. I should be happy. But yet I'm feeling some kind of way, and that way is nothing. Now, the word of Yah mm, is quick in power and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul, the mind, and spirit. The mind's been filled with all the lies of the world. But the word of God is separating it. No, we're going to get to the heart. And when it separates the mind and the spirit, it allows the correct order. What order? The spirit is above the mind. The mind doesn't tell the spirit what to do, but I have to go out here and work and work and work and get all these things. How come I work and work and work? I got all these things and yet I'm ready to blow my brains out. The order is wrong, but the word is coming to set it straight, beloved. It's not your fault. It's what the world has taught us. How do we know? Mm. How do we know? Allow me to say, there are one, and I'm in Proverbs 12, 18. There is one whose rash words are like sword thrusts. Some people talk their words. Piercing. It's like sore. But the tongue of the wise brings healing. So there's healing in the word, the spiritual word of God. We're giving it away. We're giving it away. Now, how do we know? How do we know? Peter, in 1 Peter, he's telling us being born again. We're being born again, beloved. Not of a corruptible seed. See, it's not of the world. That thing is going to die and fade away. Mm -mm. But of incorruptible. How? By the word of Yah. Which liveth and abideth forever. 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 So, we have to get the order right. Okay, how do we know that word of God is working? That word of Yah is working. When you have that spiritual abundance, that spiritual abundance, we have it when we have no obstructions within us to the presence of Yah. All those things that the world puts on your mind, there's no obstruction. And to the empowerment. And creative flow of life. The word of Yah. The word of Yah. We're going for the spiritual abundance. Qualitative. It's measured by the quality of something and not the quantity. Quantitative, the physical abundance, is measured by the quantity of something and not the quality. That's why we, we, we get all these things. And yet, we still feel hollow inside because it doesn't have quality, true quality. Okay? Now, how do we know about the power of the Word of God? Beloved, we are here today because Yasharel, through the Word of God, through the Word of Yah, has woken up to who we are, to who we are. One second. Now I'm going to go into Acts chapter 20, verse 32. And now, brethren, I command you to Yah and to the word of his grace, which is able. Is that spiritual abundance, which is able to build you up mm. and to give you an inheritance among all which are sanctified. So the word of the Most High can build you. Up. When you're feeling depressed, okay, when you're having issues and you can't figure out why. One second, one second. Mm. Jeremiah tells us, chapter 15, verse 16, 
Thy words were found. He's speaking to the Most High. And I did eat them. This is our food. This is our first meal. Not the physical. That's a surviving world. That's survival food. Mm. Mm. That's survival food. Spiritual food is going to grow us. It's going to grow us. Okay? Wait a minute. And now, brother and sister, I command you to Yah and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all which are sanctified. Forgive me, I was in Jeremiah. I'm going to Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 16. Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of mine heart. The joy and rejoicing of mine heart. How do we know that? Hmm. Did your heart joy and rejoice when after all these centuries of being in this land of our captivity, you found out who you were and to whom you belong? When you found out you were Yasha Red. Mm. I know when I found out, I was shocked. And then I got happy. And then I rejoiced because I knew there was going to be an end to the matter. And then joy, because this is a long, dark night. But joy is coming in the morning. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Jeremiah is talking about it. Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of mine heart. For I am called by thy name, O Yahuwah, Elohai. Savoda. Yeah, yeah, beloved. It is a joy and a rejoicing. Some of us are depressed. And we need that word. Mmm, mmm, yes, yes. We need that word. Let me tell you how powerful the word is. Let me tell you. Psalms 107, verse 20. He sent his word and healed them. And delivered them from their destruction. Listen. Most high. Psalm 107 verse 20. These are those who are going through because they are, they've been taught to look for the abundance on the physical. But they've neglected through no fault of their own because maybe they weren't directed in the right manner. They're spiritual abundance. There's a spiritual abundance, qualitative, measured by the quality of something and not the quantity. And in spiritual abundance, we use utilization, we utilize it to help one another, to build the body up, and we give it away. We give it away. Remember, give and it shall be given unto you. Physical abundance, quantitative, is measured by the quantity of something, but not the quality. It goes through hoarding and accumulation. It's based on a survival method, but the spiritual abundance is based on growth growth and empowerment. You become empowered with that word. Woo wait, wait a minute now. Mm-mm-mm. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You become empowered and you begin to grow. You begin to grow, beloved, which is what we are supposed to help one another do. See, the spirit that gives me what I have this did not come from me. Our Father, the Most High, the Beloved. Mm, wait a minute now. Because, boo, don't look. Everything I have, everything I am, comes from the Most High. How could I not? He was humble enough, loving enough, merciful enough with my sins and the sins of our ancestors to share his word. To give it to me. To give me that spirit. How do I not give it to my beloved brethren and sisters? Woo wee! Remember now? Remember now? Wait a minute. Because don't get me started up in here. I've never known love like the love of the Most High with all his power. And Yeshua. 
to be so exalted and deserving of all praise, and yet so humble that he would take the time. Come on, listen. Ooh, you hear that feeling? I gave up on myself, and he said, oh, no, we just getting started. And I was like, you still want me? Me? He broke my heart with love. And reset me. Let's go. Mm, mm, mm. How could I not give it away? How, how could I not share it? I mean, he was so gracious in sharing it with me. Spiritual abundance, beloved. Spiritual abundance. That spiritual abundance is so great through his word. Empowering, growing you. It's not based on survival like the physical abundance. Is based on growth and empowerment, not just of self. That's a selfish, that again, some empowerment the world teaches us. That's a selfish, exalted. Mm, 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 mm. See, the spirit truly empowers you when you can empower others. There you go. Because we got to grow together. This is together. Can you imagine the body's growing? One foot is the right size. The other foot is all shriveled up. You got to feed that other foot too. Okay? Now, we know the power of his word. Spiritual abundance. Qualitative. Okay? And the law of spiritual abundance is utilization mm, and giving it away. Why? Because it's backed up by the word. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured unto you again, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. But let's look at that word. Mm, mm, mm. I'm starting to get happy because you're on your book. You're on your book. Psalm 107. For those of us that need it, I need it. You can need it. It's all right. Mm, it's just the truth. He sent his word and healed them. You need healing? You ain't got to tell nobody. Tell the most high. Tell the most high. You got to go to the right doctor. Mm. He sent his word. What's his word? Yeshua HaMashiach. This living word. That never fail. Mm. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. How do we know he, let, let, let's back that up. We're going to go into the book of Ezekiel, the Valley of Dry Bone. How powerful is his word? First of all, he raised him up a nation when we woke up and found out who we are. We're still waking up. Mm. Wait a minute. I'm just going to go in Ezekiel chapter 37. Therefore, at prophesy, I'm sorry, book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 12. Let's back up. Verse 11. Book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 11. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. You know why the bones are dry? That living word. Who out of thy rib belly shall flow liberal rivers of living water? That word, our bones are dry, and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Now the most I tells Ezekiel, therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Most High, behold, O oh my people, I will open your graves. He's giving you life. How can you get life? You got to have life inside of you. What is the life? Yeshua said it. Yeshua said it. I'm the way. I'm the truth. So you know it's not far. And I'm the life. So the life is in the word. Come on now. Mm. Wait a minute. Therefore prophesy and say unto, him, unto them, Thus saith the Most High, Behold, O oh my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Yashavet. And you shall know. Mm. Not guess. Not try to figure it out. Come on now. You shall know that I am the Adonai, 
when I have opened your graves, oh my people, and brought you out of your graves. In this system that we are in, come on, they buried us. They buried us. They tried to hide who we are and everything we do. They'll lie and steal and use it for themselves. Mm, help me now. Come on. In, in, in verse 11, he said, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Yasharel. Behold, they say, they say, who said? Yasharel saying it. Our bones are dry, Lord. Woo. I won't have no life. Our bones are dry. And our hope is lost. Our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. It's stealing everything. Now, let's go up. But Yah is talking. And you shall know that I am the Lord. When I have opened your graves, O oh my people, and brought you up out of your graves, this land of our captivities, all over the world. Come on, come on. And shall put my spirit, whoo, look now, in you, and ye shall live, ye shall live, O oh, beloved. And I and I shall place you in your own land, and ye shall know that I, the Most High, have spoken it mm, 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 and performed it. Say it, fellow you. Beloved, spiritual abundance, physical abundance. Remember, the spirit does not operate according to the physical. Physical abundance teaches us to accumulate and hoard things. It's a quantitative abundance based on the need for survival. It's a quantitative, meaning it is measured by the quantity and not the quality of something. Okay? It hoards things and accumulates things. But... You are under the spiritual abundance, okay? What is that? It's qualitative, measured by the quality of something and not the quantity. And what is the law that it operates under? Utilization. I'm going to utilize that spiritual abundance and give it away. Why? Because it's not based on survival. It's based on growth and empowerment. Beloved. Be blessed. Shalom.